So mental health is basically your state of mind, your mindset that kind of determines like your mood. It, it tells you, it gives you a lot of your emotions and how you feel based on the scenarios that are presenting themselves around you. And your emotions often impact or are impacted by the thoughts that you're having in your mind and then your emotions also drive your behaviors. I believe that uh, mental wellness, mental health uh, is a really important topic. Um, it's probably been important uh, for all of time, but uh, we're starting to pay more attention to it uh, within schools. And so just like if someone were, were to have a cold or to be sick uh, medically, um, now we're starting to view um, mental health and mental wellness uh, in the same light. Mental health is how you are doing with your, your brain and your emotions. Just like your physical health is your body, your mental health is how you're feeling. So a lot of times with mental health, um, we aren't necessarily in touch with our emotions and aren't fully processing the thoughts that are happening inside of ourselves at each point in time and it leads us to experience um, or to behave in ways that are not really beneficial for us or for the people around us. Um, so it's really beneficial for us to try and um, spend more time focusing on our mental health so uh, we'll feel better, we can enjoy living in the present moment um, and so we can um, just kind of help ourselves make better decisions about how to behave um, in any situation. Um, so if students are walking around with lots of these strong emotions um, and they're they're continuing to kind of suppress them instead of like expressing them in a healthy way it could lead to like just students feeling super like bottled up and ready to almost explode it could lead to like fights um, it could lead to like nervous breakdowns panic attacks um, it could wind up really impacting students physiological health so it can impact their physical health um, in ways that um, could lead them to to have you know traumatic like or, or really difficult like health um, impacts in the future. So mental health and your physical health is very much connected. So if you're not taking care of your mental health and giving yourself the self-care you need, um, it's going to lead to um, detriments to your physical health as well. I think there's a lot of factors about mental health in high school because there's so many changes. There's so much pressure. Um, a lot of changes going on both within yourself and with everybody around you and trying to figure yourself out. So that makes mental health I think more difficult than some other times of your life. The wellness coaches here are seeing lots of students coming in with um, anxiety, like experiencing feelings of anxiety. So they may not necessarily be like diagnosed with anxiety, but they uh, might just be feeling lots of um, anxious feelings and having a hard time managing those feelings. Um, we're seeing lots of students that are also suffering with like trauma that they come to the school and they've had histories of traumatic experiences in their lives, other like what they see at home, what they have experienced with friends or in their communities and that kind of thing they carry with them um, as they walk through life and it's absolutely something that impacts their ability to focus and achieve in the classroom. And if students choose to express their emotions in unhealthy ways, um, then that could also line, wind them down a really dangerous path toward things like substance abuse um, and just kind of making really poor decisions, um, maybe getting in trouble with the law. So students need to understand that um, you can express your and cope with your mental health in various ways and it could be healthy ways um, to cope and then there could also be very un unhealthy ways to cope and so you need to make sure that you're trying to like to manage and navigate that um, that path so that way you're making the healthy decisions to cope with your well-being and give yourself um, the better opportunities to grow from whatever experiences you're going through. Well, sometimes, you know, you can ask your, your counselor at school. Um, you can seek counseling on your own. You can only get limited counseling if you go, 
you know, directly, you know, yourself to a, a clinic. Um, I think best if you talk to your parents about it. Most parents do agree to counseling and then your insurance can help pay for the visits. And I think that's the, the best way to go. But um, you can get, you know, connected in lots of different ways. Yeah, I think anyone suffering from, from mental health struggles needs to approach it the same way one would approach any other health issue. Get the professional help needed to work on improving whatever is the, is the problem. So if you, if you broke your arm, you wouldn't just try to deal with it. You'd go, to a men, you'd go to a health professional and get your arm taken care of. So I think finding people that you can be honest and open with is really important. Um, finding somebody that you can talk to about what's going on so that you can get the help and support you need to and help and support each other. Uh, by hiring two uh, staff members at the high school devoted 100% to mental wellness, our goal is to make sure that when students are dealing with some type of mental wellness issue that we have people here that can support them in partnership with the teachers, their counselors, um, and so uh, we, we're starting small groups. We have one-to-one -one, um, kind of um, meetings with, with the students, with the mental wellness uh, coaches. Uh, we have some classroom instruction built in. We've got some mentoring programs we're going to, we're going to try to build, all with the hope that we can really support students both through and um, as they're continuing on with, with mental wellness issues. Uh, I think it's great that West Ottawa and, and education in general now focuses a whole lot more on mental health issues than when I first started teaching. When I first started teaching, there weren't any professional development uh, uh, sessions about helping students with mental health. So I think it's, it's just really a, a, a great element of school and society that now, much more than in the past, mental health is, is treated the same way a torn ACL is treated. It's, it's looked at a lot more the same than it used to be. Uh, and I, I just think that's, that's really beneficial for those who struggle with mental health issues, that, that uh, there's a much greater understanding that it's a health issue and it, and it needs to be treated like other health issues. That's, that's a real um, powerful, benef beneficial step that we take here at West Ottawa and, and society in general, I think, has, has taken a step in that direction. And really, when you think about what does that mean in a school, it's making sure that our students have um, the support um, for those mental health reasons uh, so that they can come to school, they can go to their classes, they can perform in class without having to um, be, you know, um, have something stopping them that, that is related to the mental wellness area. So, and so um, as wellness coaches, we help work with those students to um, give them a space to be able to like refocus um, so they can come to the wellness coaches, speak to someone about the really difficult things that are happening in their lives or maybe flashbacks that they're that something triggered them to come back to when they're in, in the classroom. Um, so we give them a space where they can feel safe and feel supported and help them kind of clear their minds so they can get back to school um, and be able to achieve. And then for students that might be feeling anxious, a lot of things we do for them is we give them strategies on how to manage those anxious feelings. So that looks like a, a variety of different things depending on the person. Um, and every student works differently with um, what coping skills work for them. Um, so we try and get, educate them on the things they could do or at least try that might help them manage those emotions. Um, and then we give them the space to practice it and we encourage them to utilize it when they're in school and in life. You know, some of the things that we, we have focused on, anxiety, depression, um, you know, um, suicidal thoughts, um, we've talked about healthy relationships. Those are things that as, as, a, as a staff and as a school that we want to help students with as they're um, not only students but human beings. 
So one way to get a hold of us, of the wellness coaches here, is to um, email us. You could always just shoot us an email or have your teacher shoot us an email, whatever you're most, most comfortable with. Um, you could also fill out the student self-referral form, which is found on the uh, on your Chromebooks when you open a browser. If you click on the home page, you'll see um, a bunch of different icons come up. One of those icons is a, a red heart with a couple hands reaching for each other. That is the link to the self the student self referral form um, so when you fill that out we get a notification and we can determine um, the, the level of need that's expressed so if we need to meet with you this week um, today or like immediately um, it helps us kind of filter through that so we can meet with you um, and then when we do meet with students sometimes we recommend students get a mental health screening um, and then we could like link students to um, an outside professional who will come in and screen them for their mental health if we suspect there might be um, a few different things going on with their mental health that we can't necessarily diagnose. Um, we let someone else come in and screen for those types of things and then after that they can make referrals to outside agencies if students need additional support, um, if they need continuous support like weekly or bi-week or bi-monthly supports. Um, we can help arrange that with like what based on the type of insurance and medical support they have available.